Hi everyone, this is just another um, look at those 500mm uh, pixel tubes or meteor tubes I got off Ray Wu the other week. So uh, they're 5 volt, 500mm, 16 LEDs per side, so it comes, data comes into one, goes all the way down to the end, and then it's got, uh, in the end there, it's got a little link wire that links it, the data back up to the top of the tube, and it comes back out to go to the, off to the next one. So uh, they're double sided and I, as far as I know the pixels are arranged just so that the uh, the first two there are in parallel and they run independent strings down there. But So they act as, as pairs, like you can't control the uh, sides separately as far as I know. Uh, I haven't really set it up with a proper controller yet to find out. So, um, so I thought I'd see how far they'd run on a cable uh, between pixel tubes. Um, so I've got this one coming in from the pixel tester here. This is an older pixel tester, so the uh, drive capability on it's a bit poor. So it doesn't seem to like driving down long cables. I actually put a few meters of cable between the pixel tester and the first tube, and it didn't like it at all. So um, there's no problem with power. It just didn't like the data. The data was too corrupted by uh, the time it got to the tube. So um, so it's coming down the the uh, pixel tester down the first T. One of those uh, 343 T's from Ray that um, seem to come with the tubes. Um, and then goes down there, of course, back up the data out, off to the next T, which plugged in. And at the moment, I've got uh, some cables I've made up for testing. So uh, that's 12 metres of uh, cable in there. So that's just your um, four core security cable that I've just spliced onto, some, uh, onto the ends that I've got with them. So um, that's uh, 12 metres of cable going all the way through to there and that second tube seems to be running fine and that's running fairly bright, that's a fairly bright pattern so that'll be drawing a reasonable sort of percentage of its uh, maximum current uh, for the tube so uh, it seems stable there. I thought I saw a glitch before so maybe the 12 metres is getting a bit on the, uh, on the uh, close side to not working but uh, certainly at 8 metres when I took off the 4 metre cable before didn't see any hint of any trouble at all. So um, I haven't actually got these connectors done up, so unless it was the, the glitch was just one of those connectors wasn't plugged in tightly, I don't know. I didn't investigate anymore. I don't want to use them at that sort of length anyway, so it's not really a problem. I just want to put uh, these tubes, hang them in a tree at the front of my place for Christmas and um, have the either these 343Ts, a ring of those just around the trunk of the tree and then some of these uh, tubes radiating out of various spots in the tree, but I didn't want to run the T pieces close to the uh, tubes like this and then have to put in uh, joiners um, between, or you know, extension leads between the T pieces, because that also means that the um, current for each tube is traveling a lot more in the cables and extension cables then, uh, and it sort of all adds up. So by the time you get to the last tube, all of the um, tube current is uh, sort of in the first tubes uh, or first T pieces wiring is carrying the current for all of them then. So um, this way, if the T's are all close together, the added current's only in very small sections. Um, so that should be a lot more stable, a lot less voltage drop. And these are five volt tubes, so you can't really afford to uh, lose too much uh, voltage in them. Um, so I'm gonna put in, uh, so I'll probably have like three meter cables, you know, somewhere between one and three meter cables or five meters at the most uh, between the T's, which will be all to uh, together near the uh, trunk of the tree and uh, in each tube, or I may make a little uh, pixel distributor box, which effectively has got the 343T system already done. Uh, I think I posted the other day in uh, Oz Christmas Lighting Chat a, uh, a preview picture of a little board I'd made with all the connections already done. It's got all the, the looping, data looping between the Output's already done on the circuit board, so you just basically just plug them in and it just works. So it um, does all that uh, complicated um, looping and power distribution, and it's got you know a power LED to make sure that so you know that it is working and um, stuff like that, and it's all connectorized and with a fuse and everything. So if something gets shorted in there, it's not going to take down a larger uh, section of your display. So um, yeah, and of course, if you do get the only thing is with all of these loop things, like any uh, pixel type prop, if you do lose um, the first prop, 
You'll see that one's just frozen now because that one there is responsible for looping the data back out to the other tubes. So um, if you do lose an early one, well then you're going to lose a big chunk of them. Because if you lose one later, you're only going to lose the ones that are downstream from that. So um, there, anyway, that's a bit more information about these tubes. I think they look quite nice. They should look uh, pretty, pretty good. I might have uh, anything up to about 10 of them or so hanging in the tree at the front for my 2019 Christmas display. So um, we'll see how that goes.